All right. Next on the list of putting some respect on that name. Let's go with a little James Conner. Oh, James Conner. The Conner show. He looked gashing him. Unstoppable. That out man be there. gashing them boys. Gashing them. <laughs> Work, work, work in them hoes. Yeah, just doing <laughs> absolute work out there, looking good. Um, I thought that was a very solid game from him in, on la- two weeks ago, and then he put out a really great game in this past week uh, against the Packers. Cutting them up. Yeah, the Packers' defense, you know, didn't look good. All the running backs kind of did work for the Steelers there. Sure. To, uh, Toussaint. Toussaint got in there and did some work, and Jalen Samuels had a good game. So, but like nobody could could tackle James Conner. I mean, they were trying to come correct and just be getting flown flung off, and he just looked unstoppable. He didn't get. I think he had five runs. He didn't get a ton of work. He was out of there, and they let the rest, the other two, take over. But it was just, it was awesome to see. And I mean, if I was living on Bell, I would have reported to practice the next day. Right, right. <laughs> like, that's enough. how good James Conner. This looked. is this is just to remind you, James Conner is a guy in college who was one of the top leading rushers at Pitt in 2014 before he had a, a terrible injury um, was averaging six yards a carry and had 26 touchdowns 26 of them that's not an accident no like this dude is a horse he's a hoss and at one point they were saying you know he's not the greatest uh, pass catcher he got uh, he had the injury and then he had all that cancer stuff happened to him which was also terrible he came back his senior year and and caught 21 balls which was by far the most he had ever caught in his he career spent all offseason in the wide receiver room right and how to well this is what we gave you last year and the rookie mock it up before you fuck it up stuff and it was it was james connor and just like casey said it was you're you're looking at his most recent college season coming out it was dude was coming back from cancer and a knee injury but you go back to still the, average five point one a still, carry, still did thousand yards, still did twenty one receptions and four more touchdowns. Still on those did good. Catches. That's really good. Those are really good numbers. Yeah. But the numbers the year before that, two years before two, that, yeah. But with the sophomore, injury, the two thousand fourteen stuff that Casey's right. talking about was ridiculous. And the names that he was in, he was up there with the Melvin Gordons, yeah. And those and it was Jay Ajayi, Melvin Gordon, and some other college football running back studs. And James Conner's name was all up in those guys, those top five guys, his production. Yeah. And then he gets two heart, you know, an, an, an injury and then cancer for a young man. Two things that you don't want to have. Obviously, you expect injuries in football, but you definitely don't expect a 19 year old man to get cancer. Battles it, comes back. We gave you all this stuff as a rookie coming in. Was absolutely looking ridiculous and, in that season that he tore and you his have, leg early on. Right. And then you have some people talking about how bad he looked last year. He didn't really look that bad. And now you've had a year to get in here and be a pro pro football right. player, have pro trainers, have get farther away from your cancer battle. Right. And far, it, it was the MCL tear as well. That yeah. He had that one. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, you I think got, he ended up with a knee injury last year at some did, point yep. too. This, this to me, this is this is one of the best stories in football, man. Yeah, this, and it, it's a it's a fantastic story, and and just not to get caught up in the story, like he doesn't even guy, want you to care about the story. Awesome. Right. The guy is That's a fantastic what I'm saying. running back, it's and not, you can. Look, I like Jalen Samuels. I think he's very interesting. He's super intriguing. Um, he can obviously do a little bit of everything. He looks good in the backfield. He looks good catching the ball. Some things have him as a tight end. Like you don't really know how Jalen Samuels, and he's very interesting. But to me, it's a no-brainer which guy's the handcuff to Le'Veon Bell here, and, I, and I, it's James Conner. I completely agree. Yeah, absolutely. So put some respect on his name. Here you go, James Conner. Boom! If you didn't already have it. 